Hey y'all, clearly I've got some beets sitting here in front of me, so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. These are red beets. They will more than likely stain my fingers and probably stain my cutting board. It just is what it is. Uh, that's just kind of part of the, you know, the part of cooking. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different things. We, we have another video for roasted beets, so definitely check that out if you need to roast beets. But for just basics of what to do with the beet, you know, like with pretty much all of our veggies, right? We're gonna, we're gonna identify where the stem was and we're gonna go ahead and take that off. Again, it's just, it's, it's rough. It's where dirt gets trapped. Uh, with this one, you know, I might wanna, like I'm taking a look at it, right? There's this little like weird indent. So I'm gonna take that, just the very tip off and then I'm gonna just slice that one side, clean it up a little bit. All right, so. Now I've sort of done the sort of basic beginning steps of prepping my beet. Then from here I can do so many different things with it. I can just slice in half and then set it on its side and now do some slices like this. That's nice and easy. I could have sliced a big, a full slice off of this piece or after I slice, take, took it in half like that, I could put larger pieces, do larger pieces and then cut it into smaller pieces as needed. The last little technique I actually want to show you though with beet, they're so pretty even if they do stain everything, is shredding because every so often that's a good thing to be able to do with your beet. So I'm going to take it, it's easiest to usually start to shred on um, this side that's been cut open and like with all things on my shredder I just have to be careful of my hands and be wary of not not getting my fingers in there, sorry. Big pause on that sentence. Not getting my fingers in there. So I'm gonna shred a little bit. Everything's gonna be this like lovely red color for the rest of the day now. Um, so shred, 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 gotta get enough. And there we go, really, really pretty. Makes for simple, like quick cooking, but the thing is, is now that I've done that, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put it on a piece of this paper towel because I want to be able to take it. And if I had more, it would be a little bit more effective. But I'm gonna take that and I would actually then, you see how it's already staining it? I would actually squeeze it out. Um, like if you can see over the sink, I'm gonna just squeeze out that excess liquid. See how much <laughs> juice is getting there? And that just helps dry it out a little bit so now it's a little bit drier, and so when it cooks up, it's a little bit less wet, which um, is a benefit. So now everything looks like I've <laughs> I'm stained with beet juice. Let me go see if I can clean all this off. That's it for today.